Long story short, I found Fetakan's 12 year old single malt scotch whiskey to be a nice whiskey, but it was just that, nice. I feel it doesn't really want to offend anybody, it's safe. Allow me to elaborate momentarily, but first let's open up a dram of Fetakan whiskey. Now today we'll be using a bullet to open this dram. Of so our first taste of Fetakan, let's see how this is. So on the nose, it's very fruity. You get this immediate, very sweet smell of apples. Not like um, British apples, but kind of like this, you know, the sweet Japanese apples. If you've ever tried those, almost like a burnt brown sugar sort of toffee smell to it. Let's have a taste. It's fruity, like an orchard. And it's kind of got this, uh, this natural sort of warmth to it. Kind of like when I say a natural warmth, it's kind of like the same warmth you get when you have a ginger beer or something. It's like this nice sort of subtle warmth to it. It doesn't have a lot of wow. Let's go back and taste it again. I get a very faint honeysuckle almost like that toffee sort of smell that I got comes through in the honeysuckle sort of caramel taste ever so slightly however as I said there's nothing that really jumps out and striking or because this is um this is Fetakan's 12 year old house whiskey so I kind of expected like a bit more of a wow factor to it but I'm not getting that I'm getting like it's a nice whiskey but it's not like impactful and I do believe that's coloured for a 12 year old whiskey. Usually I think it would be a little bit more pale to be honest, but I could be wrong. Texture wise, honestly, <laughs> it's almost like water. It's, it's exactly the same as water texture wise, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's, yeah, that's like the, there's, there's just nothing to it. There's nothing that grabs me and says, oh, this is Fetakan whis whiskey and this is what it's trying to be. And then, you know, I don't, I don't feel like it's a range I really want to explore. Now, I ordered a sample of this 12-year-old whiskey because the bottle itself is £46 currently. So about $60 or so. So it's definitely on the expensive high-budget whiskey that you wouldn't buy unless you really wanted to, you know, enjoy that. Um, and I'm looking at some of the reviews here and I do notice, you know, a lot of people have given it five stars. But everyone that's given it a good review in the tasting notes, they've said that it's smooth, light, fruity whiskey, delicate. And I think, I think they have kind of gone for like this broad spectrum of whiskey in the sense that like everyone likes Fetakan, you know, like that what's not to like about it? Yeah, well, I agree. But I feel like when I'm paying that price point, me personally, I really want to see a whiskey that delivers something unique, something special about that company that's going to meet, you know, like for me, Talisker, uh, Speyside, and some of these other Scottish whiskey companies that I really like because they kind of do something very unique that I expect from their whiskies that other companies don't do or haven't refined like they have. You know, I think one way I could sum up this whiskey, and to be honest, quite a few whiskies I've tried recently, like Steel Bonnets in the last episode, is one of my favorite quotes actually to avoid criticism say nothing be nothing do nothing and no one will criticize you everyone will like your product i guess it's just going to be like meh though you know and i always find because i've got like a main youtube channel where i make my own content my own video so i'm used to putting things out into public domain and people loving it hating it and so on. But I'm not putting content out there that's cookie cutter, that everybody likes and nobody's going to be offended by. You know, it's fun. It's enjoyable for some people, but other people might think I'm not funny because I don't match their sense of humor. I feel like Fetakan are kind of being very um, safe, you know, like they're not doing something special here. Um, and I'm a little bit disappointed, though I do really like their bottle design. I think it's very clever. Um, because it's to do with the pro the unique process they make their whiskey, which I really enjoyed reading about. However, the whiskey itself, maybe it gets better with age, and they do have other products in their range, but from their house whiskey, I'm just not impressed, I'm sorry to say. So last video, we started rating whiskeys. 
And someone suggested in the comment section that I shouldn't rate a whiskey simply on its price. Because obviously if I was to rate this on its price, I'd probably give it like a 4 out of 10. Which is a whiskey that I wouldn't buy, but I would enjoy if someone gave it to me. You know, there's nothing bad about this whiskey at all. It's a, it's a nice whiskey. It's just nothing that, you know, shouts out to me as being something that I would put on my shelf and buy a bottle of after testing the sample of it. I'm kind of glad that I only brought a sample of it, to be honest, because the bottle itself is very expensive. So yeah, um, I think this only really needs one rating, which is a 4 out of 10, and I've kind of explained my reasoning for that. Um, but if I was just to rate it on the whiskey itself, irrelevant of price, then I'd just give it a 5 out of 10 as average, you know, because it doesn't try and be anything. It's just a nice whiskey to drink. That's not not special, you know? Yeah. I always feel like I'm offending people when I say I'm a bit disappointed in a whiskey, but that's why you guys watch these videos, because I'm super honest. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a like if you did, and you can also subscribe and press the bell icon, and then YouTube will let you know when the next video comes out, if you enjoyed this one in particular for some reason. Let me know in the comments, because I genuinely read those comments and... Um, actually respond to your feedback and try and improve this series because I'm not an expert whiskey drinker by any means. Um, I just enjoy whiskey. I'm exploring it, exploring it with you guys. And that's my honest thought. You know, I'm not being paid to say anything. So guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day and goodbye.